overcomer. And when I sang this song, I was speaking my life. And I always thank God for that moment because every time I hold the microphone, I just said glory to God who causes me to triumph. In every scar lies the Lord. Because without those trials and temptations, I wouldn't be standing before you. That's right. That is the God I serve. And I came to preach Jesus today because somebody's having a breakthrough today. We might seem like we are joking. It might seem like I'm just talking. But I know somebody's gonna come with a testimony. Somebody's life is changing. Life in America is hard, huh? When I moved here four years ago, everything seemed so hard. Now that is my testimony. When I speak it, people think I'm just being arrogant or whatever, but I don't care. To me, it is my testimony. I had never been employed, and when I came and started to work, it was so hard. But the more I trusted the Lord, He told me, Desire, it's gonna get better. Desire, it's gonna get better. And I pressed on, and I can assure you today, I'm living a good life. And we are gonna labor in rest. Come on, somebody profess it and confess it and receive it. You're all gonna labor in rest. You are all gonna labor in rest. I can assure you. I'll be waiting for this testimony. Somebody's gonna testify and say, You came and spoke. It seems like they were just words. But they're not just words. These are words that carry power and authority. Somebody's gonna labor in rest in the name of Jesus. And you're taking over the land. I like. A mighty hand of praise. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Praise God. Uh, thank you, woman of God. <laughs> Desire, thank you so much. Uh, let, let us just stand and thank the Lord for uh, the real estate Kickstarter conference, right? Give the Lord a mighty hand clap. Lives have not just praise God. A lot of things happen. Many of these moments like these are very prophetic. Praise God. Now let me get into the other dimension. Praise God. Many of these moments are very prophetic. Praise the Lord. There are things that happen. There are encounters that happen. There are meetings that happen that don't live our lives the same. Praise God. And I want to thank, uh, uh, one time I was telling the man of God, Brian, that uh, uh, many of the things and the inspirations he gets, these are not just simple things that are happening. Uh, there is a lot of... Uh, God is into the business of changing lives. Praise God. God is into the business of changing lives. Praise the Lord. And even when he, he, he decided to change the life of Abraham, he told him, go to a land that I will show you. You get what I'm saying? And so we thank God for moments like these that uh, are very transforming. Mr. and Mrs. Kayongo, thank you so much for yielding to the voice of God. Praise God. And just want to take this and just thank the lord for what he has done that lives are not going to stay the same your life is not going to stay the same in the mighty name of jesus speak it over yourself that my life is not going to stay the same something has happened thank him for the divine encounters thank, thank him for the wisdom for the knowledge uh, the man of god uh is yeah uh, uh, Brian Kajesi, a prophet, he said some very important things that information is not just coming to us, but we pray that whatever information has come to us carries a spirit of understanding that we are able to interpret uh, this information into application. Praise God. And let us just, let me just, let, let's just take three minutes and just thank God in your own way. Just first take some time and say, Lord, I thank you for the Kickstarter conference. I thank you for the lives that have not stayed the same. We thank you for generational wealth. We thank you for knowledge. The Bible says that wisdom and stability shall be the stability of your times. Uh, knowledge has come to us. Uh, we thank you for the divine network that you have connected. We thank you, my God. We thank you, Lord Father, for wealth. We thank you for freedom. We thank you, Lord that our lives can't stay the same that we are evolving the bible says that the path of the just shines brighter and brighter our consciousness are aligned that we are moving forward we are evolving uh, april 2023 cannot leave us the same 
in this season of resurrection we receive extra resurrection we thank you for extraordinary resurrection in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you that april 7th and 8th have not left us the same we thank you for the men that have received visions we thank you lord father that even when we meet in 2024 that there will be evident testimonies many will testify of lands of properties of, of 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 encounters of wealth in the mighty name of jesus we thank you that this is not just a conference but a prophetic encounter father we thank you that it connects even to the wealth of our nation it connects to the wealth of this land we thank you that we are a blessing in this nation father we thank you that it touches nations africa in the mighty name of jesus uganda also cannot say the same Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you have done in these two days and continue to do that we shall testify that something happened. Networks connected. Eyes were open. Bismillah rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Amaya dobo zenze Ibrake Mukasa tuliku extra digest mungoba nsonga 2023. Tusinzi de wanomu USA edanga tuwaze kujebaise the real estate kickstarter conference 2023 the second edition yomakagono iranga this is all courtesy of uh, the concept real estate that is Bran Kayongo and the team tuze tulabe uh, enteka teka erietia biri abiri mwe sato uh, omusoma guno over conversion yenu eri about ukuyiga butia abantu gweba sobola ukwe nyigira mu real estate that is development management nebi guwa mkowelio bana Uganda of course nabantu okuva mubitundu ebi enja uro bajumbi de nyo uh, enteka teke no eyo mwami brand kayongo ne team ye haba uh, uh, real estate kickstarter anga kota dene concept real estate bidi abidi mo esatu uh, guno gomundi guwabe ugo kubidi ngaba teka teka of course eh, chitu chino chuo medua mu omutue aba antubanji nyo okuli company ezenja ulo nga post bank uh, kusinzira i kampala baze bachiteke mu esente bulichimu chiverenga chitambula bulu unji nyo aba antu wabenja ulo webali ba speakers abenja ulo webali ukuraba nga bategeza aba antu botu nulira echi intu cha real estate uh, munguanga uganda over world over uh, it is one uh, area of business aba antu jebe nyigi demo okuraba nga bata muza echi intu chino mwambran kayongo neba ne uh, masa zewo batu nulira ile butia butusobula ukwe burula ukwe ja mbuwavu ngabaita mochi intucha real estate development and management ibrake mukasa ku extra digest mungoba nsonga ngatu since the USA 2023 tutunulira the real estate kickstarter the second um, edition year 2023 cutters of the concept real estate brand kayongo and the team akade kano ngenda kubanga nega Tibu wako omchala uh, muna Uganda na yenga abesinga Canada omchala amanyidu wanga Solome abesinga gubate geranga Mama Pitimov ategeka emisomo oba conversions ezenja ulo mu Canada all throughout iranga bulichimu chibachi tambula bulunji na ye avudeyo uh, aje wano mu America asoburo kubanga uh, supporting aba conceptual estate uh, that is the kickstarter 2023 muchala solo me mama pitimov mkwanirizako ku extra digest mugoba nsonga eranga akadekano nsaba obuze kubalunja abali mukutulaba abalunja abali kutulaba tsense okubalaba yeah. chibuga che boston mu yeah. america mm. nange ndi mugenyi wano mm. so obulambu gamashi obulambu lunji akawewo kawulit yeah, of course na ebo bonimya muna aba wano bakugamba anti kati ato sanze weddewo egenze ah <laughs> hey. uh, tuli wano uh, katasi of the concept real estate yes the real estate kickstarter uh, gundi yeyo kubiri edition yeyo kubiri omwaka bili ya bili mwesatu um, it is all about real estate development and management what is your take over this conversion the second 
uh, edition? This convention is very, very important. Mm. First of all, yeah. you know my passion is to support yeah. people mm. of, of our background, the mm. Africans. You know, mm. when I made a Made in Africa International Exhibition, these are the mm. people we need. Mm. So Brian is one of the partners. Brian is one mm. of the powerful uh, person mm. that has helped a lot of different people from Uganda, Nigeria, mm. Ghana, mm. name it, mm. to really you know when you're in these countries mm. when you own a house it's, mm. it's, it's like an investment mm. it's like the only way how you can keep your money there singe bintu biba bitabuse muntu da kubutaka is a center so lo ziko atazo na muntu mba tuna no kola chi no gende ka so as conventional eno egenda kuyamba omuntu nyo 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 thank you that is uh, omchala solome uh, mama pitim of okuvai canada uh, made in Africa 2023 May. Yes, sir. Mwete sete semutia. Mwete sete sete. 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 Mwete sete America and Canada. Yeah. yeah, in better, of course, yeah, yo. Tugenda kubanga tufuna abantu abalala tuberenga na botu nyumi ya muko. Tue anza nyumu chala solome. Mama Pitimov okuvai Canada. Weba linyo weba liendala. Kali nyabu. Thank you. We're so blessed to have the Ugandans in Waltham. Now because, yes, that's a good thing. We are blessed to have the Ugandans in Waltham. But because of the price of real estate in Massachusetts, it's very difficult for anybody to stay in Malta. So this is the reason why when I was a young lawyer, I was not in, um, no one in my family was a lawyer. So when people would come to me to do real estate, I treated them fairly, I didn't charge too much money, and that was rainmaking. so they kept coming back. So I think when you talk about investing in the city of Walton, you are investing not only in your family, you're investing in the community. And we have a lot to offer in Waltham. Our schools were building, it was the most expensive high school in the state, but it was a high school that's a comprehensive high school. So it has 14 career and technical programs, all intertwined with the traditional high school. And there'll be 1,840 students in there, grades nine to 12 but they will be able to take a trade if they wish, including robotics and a lot of other programs, but then if they also want to go to college. I believe that the education is the key to the success of the family. And when you get that education, we offer that education. We want people to come to our schools. And most importantly, we want people to have fun we have a lot of recreational facilities that we've done over. Right over here, there's a 250-acre park that the Ugandans go all the time on Sundays. But mostly, you have to feel at home in the community that you live. So I love you. I want you to say, and I, for me, it's Easter season. So I want to say for all of you that are Christian, happy Easter. Okay. And if you're Jewish, happy Passover, Ramadan, whatever religion you practice. Now, but the most important thing, you gotta get yourself a good broker that will work on what your needs are. Some people want all house, no yard, because they're busy. Other people want a yard. But when you connect with that broker and you connect with the bank, that will be the success to finding any real estate in whatever community you want. So I want to thank, where is he? Brian. Brian. The lights are, you know, <laughs> I'm not used to all the lights. I want to thank you for putting all this on. Thank you. Because your future begins here. Okay? In the city of Waltham and in these types of what you call network. networking. Okay? And I have a great day and a great conference. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions for the mayor, please? Anyone? Okay.
We right. oh, right. Um, man, many ladies here see you as a role model, and some men. Um, you've been at the helm of this wonderful, uh, I should say, for many of us, we live and work here, pay our taxes here, have had children here, have ha had clam chowder here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what would you say has helped you remain relevant through all these cycles? Remain grateful? Oh, relevant. Okay, I never forgot where I came from. I was a little kid from Waltham, and I'm still a little kid. Um, but my parents, we grew up in the project across the street from the CVS on Lexington Street. And my father was a veteran, and my mother, they both lost their parents at a young age. So they, they were very much involved in the family and the community. My grandmother on my mother's side lived with us for, for 22 years. But what they did is they worked two jobs to buy a house. And when they bought that house, it was a lot of work, but we were always a family together. So my grandmother could come, all of the other relatives could come because in the project they can't all could come. But they taught us one thing, do your studies, behave yourself. And that sometimes that was true and sometimes it wasn't, but behave yourselves and believe in God. So I think that's the key to success. I've been mayor 20 years, you know what I mean? But I've been blessed to be mayor because I believe that it is a service that you should have community service. We always encourage, we're trying to be, encourage the Ugandan to become police officers, firefighters, school teachers. We want them working for the city of Waltham too. And that's what we're trying to do, get more of the Ugandans involved in the city, in the working too. So, but I didn't have anybody in my family. Uh, my father went to college after the, if he was in the World War II, but I didn't have anybody in my family that was a lawyer. So starting out as a lawyer by myself was hard. I had to work, keep the other two jobs while I developed clients, but I was very fortunate to um, get elected to the Waltham School Committee, and I was shy as can be, if you can imagine it. So that's my, my advice. Your community is the key, but you have to teach your kids. And this is one thing I say about Ugandans, at every function that I'm at, the kids, they are behaved. They do not disrespect their parents. And in this society, that is a miracle because they know from within that they represent themselves, their parents, and their community, and God. Thank you so much, Maya. We have a token for you, please. Uh, Come on now. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. That's going to be a raffle for somebody. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> One more question, Maya, from someone. Uh, good morning, Maya. My name is Charles Kenya Mvawala. Soon I'm going to be the Vice President Yuna. Uh, my question is if we Ugandans want to buy a building, what we will call Kampala House or Uganda House, will you recommend us with any building in Waltham? I was going to recommend you a building. So usually there's a lot of churches, unfortunately, that are closing. There's one on Moody Street that's going to be for sale right now next to the fire station. So that's where I would first look, because they, they already have, not necessarily the assembly permits, but they have um, the ability to have institutional uses because they're churches. Those are where I'd start first. Then the clubs, a lot of the clubs have closed too. After that, the commercial real estate is very expensive. Now we are going to look at Fernal, and I know I've been saying that for a little while, but we are going to have some space at Fernal that I'm going to make into community space. Probably one of the buildings is going to be just that, to have not, it will be like a non-profit incubator where the, the, the building will be used by non-profits for, you just have to take care of your maintenance, okay? But I'm having a little trouble because some of my boards want to go back to the 1700s. I like the 1700s too. <laughs> But they think it should be like n nothing new, you know what I mean? So I believe in having a little bit of the old and a little bit of the new. So I'm trying to move that fernal building a little closer, and that's what it will be. 
I did the same thing over at South Junior, but then the school department had to take it over for the dual language. So if I can have a nonprofit incubator in one of those buildings, then you would be able to have space all the time for very little, you just have to pay your maintenance and insurance, okay? Thank you so much. Let me hand this mic to this. All right, um, thank you, Honorable Mayor. Yes, fast. I'm sorry I have to go. How long are you going to be here? Till six o'clock? Oh, I can come back later. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, so you know that it's, we have